Yeah, for heart disease, diabetes, cancer, neurological disease. You know, I look at all these disease. You know, I've spent over a decade really focused specifically on cancer, but in the last few years, you know, have really looked into a lot of research on heart disease, diabetes, uh, autoimmune disease, neurological diseases, and at the end of the day, the conclusion I came to is, you know, all of these diseases, these lifestyle-related diseases, are from they're they're just different branches of the exact same tree. That's it. Right. And if you address the root issues of that tree of 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 health and of disease, and those root issues are almost exactly the same, slight variations, but almost exactly the same, then you address these things that we call diseases, which are really just imbalances. It's just our body out of balance with you know, the state that it's meant to be in. We're meant to be in a state of health. Our body's always fighting or or looking regenerating, for looking for health. It's trying to heal itself. It's trying to regenerate. It's trying to rejuvenate. And all we have to do is support that a little bit with the right foods, the right herbs, you know, meditation, relaxation, good sleep, you know, mushrooms, different vegetables, you know, enjoying life, laughing, living a good life, you know, contributing to others. All we have to do is support that and our bodies will thrive. And, and it's trying, I mean, imagine the, how much we can destroy our bodies, right? Smoking cigarettes every day, drinking alcohol every day, uh, you know, not sleeping well, staying up all night, partying, not exercising, pollutants and chemicals and toxins and sugar. We can just pollute our bodies for years and years and years and years. And our body's doing everything it can to try and survive and thrive until eventually you're 45 or 55 or 65 and boom, now it just, it can't take anymore. Eventually it can't take yeah. anymore, right? And then you've got, you know, that it's was what we saw with COVID. That's, the, that's what we saw with COVID was the, 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 it was something, it was over 90%, I believe, from the CDC, over 90 or 95% of all COVID hospital, hospitalizations and deaths were from people who had three and a half or more comorbidities, meaning that people had three plus chronic health issues already that had been developing for decades. And then boom, COVID hits and it's, it's, the, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. And it's sad and unfortunate, but as a society, we can address that. We have the solutions for that. And it's not drugs. It's not pharmaceuticals. It's not chemotherapy and radiation and surgery. Those are not the solutions for health. Those are the solutions for trying to manage and fight disease. And they don't do a very good job of it but we have the solutions for health and it's called a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle. We wrote a paper, which we talk about metabolic correction and physiological modulation as the mechanisms for the healthy state. And that's basically what you've been saying. So how do we get this? Yep. How do we, how do we help, you know, the rest of the world understand this? You know, that's, I mean, that's what you're doing with the science. That's what I'm doing with the podcast and the work I do. But you know, it's like, I, I, I hate to see yeah. people suffer. I hate to see people suffer needlessly. Yeah. I hate to see people when, you know, because they've got bad information or no information at all because top journals won't publish your, your papers, right? Cause they don't want it out into the public. Like, it's making people suffer needlessly. And I think if with the right information, the right support, you know, and you need to be inspired as well, either unfortunately through pain and suffering, which is a terrible way to be inspired, but it can move us to action or through yeah, the, the, really the desire of living a good pain. life. But we need the inspiration yeah, as well. The only, the only way to change this it's sad, but I have to say it. The only way that you could change this manipulation of the RAS, it's by an emotional shock. So you see many of these physicians that are blind or or or, or sleeping or zombies of the establishment, as I say, uh, once they get a they get sick themselves or a fa or a close fam family member gets sick, it's that when they they wake up. And it's sad that it has to happen, but that's the only way, an emotional shock. It's nothing else that will get you out of that, uh, uh, That uh, I don't know how to even mention it, that zombie state. It's, it's zombie an emotional state. shock. 
Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's like being a zombie. It's true. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media. And to listen to the full podcast, visit NathanCrane.com.